Hello. Right now, I'm in Houston, Texas, attending this year's annual Sleep Conference. So this morning, I joined a panel discussion with Dr. Chandler and Dr. Li Wen. We talk about career path for Chinese. So I want to summarize some main points we shared. First, when we enter the field of sleep medicine, actually, if you look through the whole career path. It's never a linear path. You actually never know what the next step may look like. There are just so many options, so many things you can try, you can do. So your career may take different turns. All you can do is try to build yourself up, learn as much as you can, and one step at a time. If you look at all these people in our field, everyone have different paths. Some people engage in another career outside of sleep medicine, and then. Come into this field and start doing more and more. Also, some people balance between research, academic job, clinical work in large hospitals or institutions, and work in the industry field. You can do this for several years and then jump to the other thing, and then more opportunities may open up to you, and then you jump to more. So be patient, be curious, and be ready so you can ride with the whale happily. Well, second, in your training years, finding a good mentor that fit you the best. So important, you know. Someone told me finding a good mentor is like getting into a marriage, because you're gonna stay with this mentor for many years, right? And you can learn a lot from this mentor, not just about clinical work, about the knowledge, about the research, but also how to do things, how to interact with other people in the field, and also the network behind all that. So if you can check different mentors out as carefully as possible,、um, do your research. That's definitely gonna help. However, if you already choose a mentor, but you don't think it's a good fit, it's too late to change. I would encourage you to shift your mindset. I'm sure you can still learn quite a lot from this mentor. If there's someone can mentor other people in this field, they must have some experience and knowledge that is very valuable. So by shifting your attitude, your perception, focus on what's important to build yourself up for your future career. That possibly can help you survive better. And also remember, you don't have to have only one mentor in your career. You will have a lot of different mentors. So reach out to other people in the field and keep on learning from different mentors along the way. Even within your own program, you may have different options, different outlet、uh, for consultation or support. And also outside of your program, and in this whole field, you may be able to find so many other people can help you, coach you. And Dr. Chandler also mentioned, remember, a mentor does not have to focus on academia. Anyone in the business field or in a different field but related, you can always learn something from them, and they can all be mentors for you. I remember when I learned podcast from Pat Flynn. I consider him as one of my mentors. Not only teach me how to do a podcast, but also gave me so many ideas about business, about how to be an entrepreneur. So I really appreciate that, which is something I never learned in my graduate school. The third point is really think about how to design a life you really want. Take myself as an example. I am night owl. I don't like morning work. I want more flexibility in my schedule because I have so many interests. I need to carve out time to engage in other things. So, I eventually choose to build up my own private practice and make it a group practice. After I have a team, I can free up more time for other things, and I can design my day and my schedule when I want to start working and when I can end work. That way, I can also make sure I have a good work-life balance. Have energy and time to take care of myself. Remember, taking care of your mental health and physical health is a foundation for sustainable, long-term success. Why everyone's journey looks different? I think it's because everyone wants different things, likes different things, can handle different things. So if you design your life and career, I'm sure it looks different than another person who are in the sleep medicine field. So finding what works for you, what you are passionate about, it's very important. So to summarize, I really think any career, especially the sleep medicine career, is a journey, not a race. You have a lot of time to figure it out. As you build yourself up, you are learning more and more things. More opportunities, more doors will open up for you, and then you will get to those turning points in your life and think about: Should I take this turn 
or not. No need to rush it, but really plan and think at each step. I hope this is helpful to you if you are thinking about getting into this field. Welcome to subscribe our sleep newsletter and the channel. I'm Dr. Yishan. I will see you next time. Bye.